At the end of every unit, your teacher has the chance to teach a lesson about other lessons and their context to enhance. But what do you suppose our teacher has us to do? He skips the lesson and makes us present the digital LEQ. LEQ needs historical evidence, reasoning that can corroborate in advance, a complex thesis that Dr. John P. Irish would admire. Then we drop this screencast like a single that is fire. Student created screencast for you to like, subscribe, and share. We know you've had all the John Green and Steve Heimler you can bear. If we have the most views by 10 p.m. Eastern on the fifth day, we earn 500 bonus points, which virtually guarantees an A. Without much more, much more, much more, fanfare or ado, we present, present, present to you our digital LEQ. The topic that will be discussed in this presentation is Trade Routes and Technological Advancements in Afro-Eurasia by Mia and Isabella. Big idea questions. One, what were the cross-cultural connections in Afro-Eurasia during 1200 and 1250? Two, how did these interconnections between different cultures affect the civilizations in Afro-Eurasia? These questions should be answered at the end of the presentation. Thesis, in Afro-Eurasia, the trading of many different common and luxury materials between empires during the time period 1200 and 1450 mostly pinpoints the, the extent of cultural blending and the spread of religions. However, along with the mixing of different backgrounds of people in unfamiliar, unfamiliar places, a surge of new ideas, trade and technologies, and the creation of manufactured goods were exchanged and occurred at the same time. Therefore, all of the Afro-Eurasian cross-cultural connections were major leading factors of scientific and technological advancements during this time period in the region. Contextualization. The Silk Road's Indian Ocean trade routes and the Trans-Saharan trade routes were the main cross-cultural connections in Afro-Eurasia during 1200 and 1450. The Mongol Empire, Mali Empire, Mamluk Sultanate, Swahili Coast, Srivijaya, and Delhi Sultanate were some of the major empires in Afro-Eurasia at the time. The Mongol expansion brought an end to Islamic Caliphate dominance over world commerce, specifically the, the Silk Roads. The trade routes during this time period were of many different environments, forcing merchants to adapt in order to trade. Historical Evidence Primary source one, Marco Polo. Analysis, this quote from the travels of Marco Polo detailed the Venetian merchant and explorer Marco Polo's stories of his travels through the Silk Road. Reasoning, the quote is an example of a first-hand encounter of a cross-cultural connection between China and Europe. Situation, here Marco Polo discovers about the use of coal in China. Back in Europe, Burning coal for fuel was unknown. Point of view. This source was not written by Marco Polo. However, it can still be considered as historical evidence of first-hand accounts of cross-cultural connections in Afro-Eurasia. This is significant because Marco Polo was able to share these new ideas with other Euro Europeans. Primary source 2. Hassan Al-Rama Rocket Torpedo. Analysis. The illustration references the sketches of the rocket torpedo in Hassan al-Rama's manuscript titled The Book of Fighting on Horseback and the War Engines. Reasoning. This source can be used as historical evidence which proves that Chinese gunpowder was traded along many cross-cultural connections and was innovated in order for more scientific advancements to be made by scientists in other parts of Apple Eurasia. Situation. Most 13th through 15th century rocket torpedoes were initially used by the Mongols during their inv invasions. Point of view. The source was created for the audience to have a visual representation of the combustible egg innovation. It is significant because it shows how technological ideas were spread from Chinese to Arab empires. Primary source 3. Travels of Ibn Battuta. Analysis. This quote is from the manuscripts translated by Samuel Lee of the first-hand accounts and stories of 14th century Muslim traveler Ibn Battuta. 
reasoning. This quote shows the distance and extent of which merchants traveled with and for trade materials. Situation. The quote describes an encounter of Batuta witnessing merchants who made large trips to and from Zaytun to Ceylon, an, an island off of the Arabian Peninsula. Point of view. The source is narrated through the point of view of a traveler. This is significant because Ibn Battuta was able to show how far merchants would go in order to get new materials and return it back to their countries or empires. Secondary Source 1. The Silk Road. Analysis. The quote details the technological exchanges that occurred during the times of the Silk Road, such as those of silk and the compass made in modern-day China. It gives examples as to why trade routes like the Silk Road encourage other regions in Afro-Eurasia to have more technological advancements. Reasoning. This source explains why the Silk Road in particular is a trade route that shaped the modern world and which discoveries were created in order for more advancements to occur. Secondary source two, Afro-Eurasian innovations. Analysis. In the video, they mentioned that gunpowder that was made in China soon spread across Afro-Eurasia, which evolved warfare. Or that paper was first ever manufactured in China, but then over a thousand years later, the first printing presses were created. The technology for the paper and printing press would then spread to Europe because of the Silk Road trade. Reasoning. This secondary source talks about the Afro-Eurasian networks and innovations. It explains how the Silk Road brought cultural, technological, political, and genetic developments in Afro-Eurasia. Because of the exchanges made at the Silk Road, technological ideas were often spread. AP Modern World History Theme Analysis Theme 6, Technology and Innovation Technological slash scientific inventions and innovations shared through trade routes in Afro-Eurasia. Theme 4, Economic Systems Commerce through Afro-Eurasia caused changes in how the materials traded were created and produced. Also improved exchange and caused economic growth during this time period and later in the future. Big idea questions. What were the cross-cultural connections in Afro-Eurasia during 1200 through 1450? Some of the cross-cultural interconnections in Afro-Eurasia during the time period were the Silk Road, Trans-Saharan trade routes, and the Indian Ocean trade routes. How did these interconnections between different cultures affect the civilizations in Afro-Eurasia? They affected the civilization by providing new ideas and tactics that could later be used around Afro-Eurasia and the rest of the world. Here is our historical evidence source citations that we use to create this presentation. And here are our additional sources and citations that did not make it to this presentation. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and share this video with your friends.